Wind River is a new movie by Taylor Sheridan and it stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. So what is Wind River about? Wind River is basically about a murder that happens and basically because of that a veteran hunter has a team up with an FBI agent to basically uncover, figure out, and what happened in this murder. Now I have a kind of a mixed history of Taylor Sheridan's other films he wrote. I wasn't really that big into Sicario. I liked Hell or High Water but I didn't love it. So I really did not know what I was going to think about Wind River, but I decided to go see it anyway because the cast was amazing and I thought Taylor Sheridan could maybe direct a movie. So I just want to check it out and see what it was like. So how was Wind River? Did I like it? I gotta say, this movie is fantastic. The first thing I've got to praise in this movie is the script and the story. Taylor Sheridan wrote the script and he did a phenomenal job writing this movie and the story itself. Like, you think it goes one way, but it goes the exact opposite. It avoids a lot of cliches. It's a very good script by Taylor Sheridan. The direction by Taylor Sheridan is amazing. He's a first time director and I did not see it at all. He felt like a pro, he felt like he knew what he was doing. He put together this great film and also I got to talk about the cinematography. The cinematography is gorgeous. It's kind of a flat look which makes sense for the subject matter in the film but it also looks very gorgeous. It shows a bunch of the land, scenery, just looks like a very gorgeous and well shot film. I also got to talk about the performances. They're career best by Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. First of all, let's start with Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner gives so much good subtlety to his performance. He's a very emotionally layered character. He does a phenomenal job selling it. Jeremy Renner is amazing in this movie. Elizabeth Olsen gives a career best performance in this movie. She's also so good. Basically a fish out of water. She's in an area she has no experience in and how screwed up it is. Also an amazing job by Elizabeth Olsen. And the last thing I've talked about in the movie is how dark and intense. Basically my favorite part of the movie. This movie is so dark and brutal. Like it's in a snowy area. You feel like you are these characters. It's a very cold movie. But also I also got to talk about though how intense the movie is. It's very intense. Gripping from the second it starts to the second it ends. And man I also got to say this movie is radar. It has blood. It has swearing. You may think oh that's it. No. There's some fucking graphic shit in this movie that's so hard to watch it's like so brutal but i gotta commend the filmmakers for actually having the balls to do it now we have one problem with this movie this movie i love every single second but this movie didn't feel overly long i love every single second but it kind of feels a little bit too short because the ending was kind of rushed for my taste at least for my taste it's a very small nitpick I feel like they could have added at least five more minutes and build up more tension to this movie before we're going to the final. But overall, that's the only problem I have with this movie. But overall, Wind River is a fantastic movie. Now honestly, I don't know if I'd ever see it again. Not because it's bad, but just because of how dark, heavy, and brutal it is. But honestly, I heavily recommend this movie. It's so good. It's fantastic. It's right now a wide release. Go see it. I highly recommend Wind River. I'm going to give Wind River a 9 out of 10. It's one of the best movies of the summer and it's my top 10 for the year. And I strongly recommend going to see it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the notification bar for alerts for my videos. Please give me a like, favorite, and subscribe. Tell me you guys thought the review and I'll make sure to deliver you more reviews. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.